In this video, I'm going to explain how you can apply a LUT in Adobe Premiere, CapCut, and DaVinci Resolve. If you don't know what a LUT is, check out this video and then come right back and let's get into it. So we're going to be starting off with CapCut, but if you want to see how to apply LUTs in Premiere and DaVinci, you can skip to the timestamps below. They should be there. So I already have CapCut opened and I have a new project and I am going to import one of the clips that we used in the last video. If you want to work with these same clips, the link is in the description below. And in the second folder, I have one of the clips that is shot in S-Log. It is shot on a Sony in a log profile. So it's kind of flat and desaturated, not that vibrant and just a little bit boring. And the second clip is going to be in the third folder where we have me eating cereal by the fridge and looking very gastronomically appealing. We're gonna drag both clips into the timeline and it might seem intuitive to just go into the adjustment panel and play around with the contrast and raise the saturation and you're like, hey, look, it looks good now, it looks better. Yeah, it looks better, but this is not the best it can be. And sometimes when you have footage that maybe is shot too dark or too bright, you need to be able to get the most you can get out of the footage so that you can save the highlights or so you can get details in the shadows back. And that is what LUTs are here for. So let us reset that and let's go back up. And you see that here we have a um, box that is checked for LUT. It's checked, but then there is none. And when you scroll down, there's nothing to scroll down to. And that's because I haven't imported any LUTs into CapCut yet. The moment you start using LUTs and importing them into CapCut, they're going to stay there. So you're going to be able to choose from different LUTs. Now you can't import LUTs from this panel. You have to actually import them directly into the project. And we're going to do that by going to the menu the top left and going to adjustment, LUT, and you see here import LUT files are called our .cube and .3dl. So let's go ahead and as you can see, this file is actually in the same folder as where we got the me eating cereal inside the fridge, but you don't see it when you're searching for video files. You see it when you're searching for cube files or 3dl files. So let's double click on that and it is here and let's go import the next one, which is the second one is the S-Log to Rec. 709 conversion. If you remember, S-Log is the flat profile that needs to be converted to Rec. 709, which is the standard way that we view videos um, in media. So now we have them here. We can go to the clip, select the clip. And if we go over to the LUT panel, now you see that they are in the drop-down menu. And if you just scroll, Ooh, look at that. But that looks weird because that's not the right lot for this clip. And if you go down to the next one, ah, look at that. Now, this is the way this scene looked in real life. This is the way I want it to look. And everything is just right. It sits right. You know when it's right? It's right. And if you select that, then you have it. And you don't need to do anything else unless you want to go, you know, mess some stuff up but basically this gets your footage looking normal in a consistent manner so now let's say you have multiple clips shot on the same camera shot at the same time uh, on the timeline and you wanted to apply a lot rather than go into each one and select the lot from the drop down menu what you're going to do is drag and drop the LUT directly onto the timeline and it opens up as an adjustment layer that affects everything that is below it. And that's very efficient when you have multiple clips um, that are shot on the same camera. You do have to be careful, however, that if you drag the adjustment layer over a clip that is not shot in a way that this LUT can work with, then it's just going to look weird. So here is without, here with. So you have to be careful to limit the adjustment layer to the clip that you want it to affect boundaries. Uh, let's do that for the next clip. And white. Et voila. There you have it. 
Now, this LUT is more of a creative LUT because as you can see, I have changed the blues to more of a teal cyan look. More and more teal because I like teal and orange because I am a basic bitch like that. And um, yeah, this is just something I do by choice. It's not a conversion LUT, as I explained. It is a personality LUT. It's a creative LUT. And um, yeah, so these are the two ways that we can apply LUTs in CapCut. Um, now let's go over to Premiere Pro. So now we are in Premiere Pro. As you can see, I've already dragged the clip into the timeline. To apply a lot in Premiere, we need to use the Lumetri color panel, which should be somewhere around. But if you don't see it, then just go to Windows and look for Lumetri color and it should pop up. Now we go to the basic collection and the first thing you see there is input LUT. Like Premiere, Adobe, they're like, yes, first on the list is a LUT. After that, you can do anything you want, but you need to start with a LUT first. And when you go down, they do have a lot of other options and you can also upload and make a list of yours. But today we're gonna go to the browse option and go to the LUTs folder where I have the S-Log to Rec. 709 conversion LUT. And I will upload that and voila, it's, it's easy, simple. And as you can see, it's quite similar to CapCut. I mean, these are the basics of color grading and this is where you start. So let's try and do that with the other clip. You get it in, that's what she said. And you go to the input LUT, browse, and that's the wrong LUT. We go to the third folder, eating cereal inside the fridge LUT, and upload it, and there you have it. Nice and simple. And now we're in DaVinci Resolve. I already have the clips imported into the project, and what we're gonna have to do is to add these clips to a timeline which I have done right here, because if they're not in the timeline, we cannot access them in the color grading tab. And now we go down to the color grading tab, bam. And um, yeah, we have both of them here. And the process is similar. We just have a different way of getting about it. Um, now, DaVinci Resolve doesn't use layers. It uses a nodal system. A node is kind of like a layer, but then it can affect things in different ways. It's a completely different system. Um, I only use DaVinci for color grading. I don't use it for VFX because the nodal system freaks me out. It's just like a different language. So here we have the default node. Usually the log conversion LUT is applied on the default node because then we can do everything else we want after that. So the thing I like about DaVinci Resolve is that it already has lots of conversion LUTs baked into the app itself, but I'm going to show you how to add your own LUT. So to do that, we're going to have to go to the LUTs panel, right click on LUTs and open file location. And this opens the file location of all the LUTs. And let's just make things simple. Let's let's just make things simple. Just gonna go for new LUT. And then I am going to copy the LUT that we want to use into that folder. Then if we come right back up here, we can refresh. And here you have it. New LUT. So we have both of them. So this is the S log footage and as you can see drag and on here and voila it's perfect if you would want to use one of the LUTs that DaVinci has already installed then let's go down to Sony S-Log2 looks a little bit funky looks a little bit too bright um, let's try something else let's try S-Log3 also looks too bright. So, you know, I kind of trust my own LUT better. Yeah, I trust my LUT better because I exposed for it. Now let's go over to the next one. And same thing, just drag, drop, and you have it. Now, 
this is just skimming the surface of DaVinci Resolve. It's quite a complex program. So if you're curious about how DaVinci Resolve works, then, you know, there's a lot of tutorials out there. If you're interested in learning other stuff about content creation, videos, and lighting, just check out one of my videos. Bye.